The scenery is stunning. The snow so white and majestic. You can easily think you're in the Swiss Alps, but the little fence just meters away is a reminder that this is actually a dangerous border area. We're on the highest man outpost in the state of Israel, overlooking Syria. 20 meters behind us is already Syrian territory. Mitzpe Shlagim is the Hebrew name of this outpost, meaning snow observatory. It's easy to understand how it got its name, but for the soldiers here, this is far from a sightseeing trip. They're well aware of what might happen if they fall asleep on guard. We cannot let this beautiful scenery and the snow that we see all around confuse us, because if it happens, we will be at risk and our enemy will take advantage of that. Outdoors, it is of course different than any other place in Israel, but indoors, the base is similar to many others around the country, and so is the activity in it. We spend most of our day training, whether it's close combat, fitness training, close contact engagement, and anything else needed for readiness. Anything needed for readiness means the shooting ranges, among other activities, and the snow will surely not stop that. The snow doesn't bother us. Our soldiers know how to deal with the enemy in these conditions. They hit well and are well aware of how to conquer the targets, even in the snow. Right down below, as mentioned, is Syria. Today, a struggling country following more than a decade of a bloody civil war, but in the past, a mighty enemy who had its military success right here on this mountain. Just across the hill, behind the clouds, stands the other Israeli outpost on the mountain. It's the same outpost conquered by Syria on the first day of the Yom Kippur War in October 1973 and recaptured by Israel after an extremely difficult battle on the last day of the war. It may have happened nearly half a century ago, but the story is ever-present here. It's in our mind all the time. We bring people who fought here back then who tell us the story of what happened there and how the outpost was conquered. We heard so many stories about what happened here and the fact that so many Israeli soldiers were killed in order to keep our presence on this mountain. It tells us why it's so important for us to be here. The Syrian army may not be the same powerful enemy of the past, but a short distance to the west stands the Lebanon border, and the enemy waiting there is far more dangerous. Just this past weekend, Hezbollah was able to fly an unmanned aerial vehicle into Israeli territory and then back to Lebanon, despite Israeli efforts to bring it down. It means that this place, and the nickname given to it, are not only tasked with watching Syria, but with watching Lebanon as well. These are the eyes of the State of Israel. When you come up here, you can see the entire area, all of northern Israel, southern Lebanon and Syria. You absolutely feel how important it is for us to be here on this mountain. Syria and Lebanon on one hand, the Mount Hermon ski resort on the other, and in between stands the snow observatory outpost with its very unique conditions, responsible for keeping this very sensitive area as safe and beautiful as it looks.